Instasnap, good morning, what's going on? A little lifestyle related question today. I get this one a lot. I get this one a hell of a lot. The question is, how do I know when to go and buy a car? How, how do I know if I can afford to do a car or get the bigger place or increase my lifestyle? This is a really important one because a lot of people go and they go and blow their kitty. They go in and expand their lifestyle before they've really earned it and then they get themselves into debts. They get themselves chasing this never ending game of trying to keep up with the Joneses, right? And it's, it can become very stressful. How many people do you know who have a period of uh, increased profits? They, maybe they do the promotion or they start the business or they launch a new product, their income goes up, they go and blow it straight away. Their lifestyle goes up to the same degree. Uh, you can go and buy something and then go through a period of uh, drawdown or go through a period of lowered profits and then you can end up resenting the thing that you buy. Remember, infatuations turn into resentments. If you're cocky, elated, prideful, you're, you're infatuated with buying some particular thing but you haven't earned it properly, come out the other side of that infatuation with resentment for the thing. You'll end up thinking, why, the, why did I buy this stupid thing? I hate the thing and now I hate myself and now I'm stressed. And then you're vibing on low cash, then you make less money, then it's a downward spiral. People spiral out of control this way. I've already revealed the secret in the formula. This is the prosperity formula. It's lesson one of infinite prosperity. If you, ha if you haven't seen this, swipe up, go get the free lessons, get this into your consciousness. It'll change the way that you do life. A is your liquid assets. A for assets, that's your savings, that's your cash liquidity. E is your expenses. Now. For this, let's just bring this formula down here, A divided by E minus PI. We're just gonna ignore passive income for now. We're just gonna be talking about savings and expenses. Now, in case you didn't figure it out already, these are two sides of the coin. These are two sides of the balance of life. Your A is your savings, your E is your expenses. This is where you pay yourself. This is where you pay others. This is your narcissism accumulation. This is your altruism giving to other people's brands. More A means more financial independence. More E means more lifestyle. The more that you go and blow each week, the better lifestyle that you have. But if you don't have some kind of systematic way to grow these both in balance, you'll come unstuck. Because most people, when they go and make more money, they just go and blow it on lifestyle. They go and increase the lifestyle. This is like a seesaw, like a teeter-totter, right? Most people go and blow their expenses through the roof and they become unstable and unstuck. Here's the game, here's the trick. Don't go and increase this. Don't go and elevate your lifestyle expenses unless you can put the same amount into increased savings. Don't go and pay others before paying yourself at least the same amount. That's the game. Don't increase this unless you can increase this. Quick example. Let's just say you're saving, you're saving $500 a week from your income. That's pretty cool. Let's just say that you're spending $1,000 a week on your expenses, on your living, on your rent, on your car at the moment, on your clothing choices. 1000 a week costs you. Let's just say that you want to go and buy uh, another car. You want to get your second car. That's kind of cool. Let's just say it's going to cost another $500 per week. Here's the game. Don't go and increase your expenses by $500 unless you can also increase your savings by $500 as well. What that means is you have to wait. You can, you can afford the car. Doesn't necessarily mean it's a good idea to go and buy the thing. Wait till you can have so much income that you can dedicate another $500 over here, pay yourself, then go and pay others. Then these two go up like this. If you have that level of discipline, and you never go and increase your lifestyle without paying yourself the same amount or more, you can scale up your lifestyle indefinitely. You have indefinite, sustainable, stress-free lifestyle growth. If you're just going and <laughs> blowing cash as soon as you get it and not paying yourself, well, it, uh, you, will, uh, you will come to resent that decision because you'll eventually manifest stress. So, pay yourself first.